Welcome back, friends. Winter is finally here in Texas. Oh, it is, and I love it. It's my favorite time of year. <laughs> he loves the cold. So what is the best thing we could make right now at this cold time of year? Garlic rosemary focaccia. The best ever. It's just, you will be amazed. It's quick to make. You can have it done in a couple of hours and your family will love it. Your friends would love it. It's great to take to a party. You'll be very impressed like you know what you're doing. You really will. Let's get started. The thing we're gonna do is put the warm water at 110 degrees optimally into the mixer bowl. We're gonna be using our KitchenAid mixer. Whatever kind of mixer you have at home is just fine. We're gonna add one package of active dry yeast. And that was a one and a third cups of water in case I didn't say that perfectly. So I'm just gonna go right now, I'm just gonna go in and just stir this together. What we wanna do is get this yeast to bloom. Two is let it sit for five to 10 minutes. We'll come back, the yeast will have bloomed and then we'll let you guys see what that looks like and then we'll move on. Next we're gonna go in with the agave nectar. It's two teaspoons of agave nectar. And if you don't have agave nectar, um, we, we say plant-based, so we don't use honey, but you could use honey or you could use just sugar. Anything you have in the house is fine. We're gonna give it a good stir. The water and the yeast have been sitting for about five minutes and it's bubbly and beautiful. The next thing we have to do is go ahead and add the one quarter cup of good olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Go ahead and add that into the mixer. Put the mixer down. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it into place and I'm gonna put it on its very lowest setting. We're gonna add the flour a little at a time. That's all the flour. It's all in there, starting to knead. The next thing we're gonna do is add our two teaspoons of flaky sea salt. If you don't have flaky sea salt in your house, that's perfectly fine. You could use fine, fine salt. Any kind of salt you have works just fine. Everything is in the mixer now, and we are gonna go ahead and set it to medium low. And we're gonna let the dough knead for about five minutes. Make sure and keep an eye on it. And what you want to see happening is that the dough will eventually start to pull away from the sides of the uh, mixer. And that's when you know it's about ready to come out. But you need to let it go for at least five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the mixer off. I'm gonna unlock it very carefully. I'm gonna lift that up. And you're gonna to want to get the dough off of the hook. It's still gonna be a little bit sticky. We live in the Houston area and it is a wet, uh, cloudy day today. So I, added, I actually had to add a couple more tea, or tablespoons of flour to this. Um, if you're in a dry climate, you may not have to do that at all. I'm gonna take some more all-purpose flour and just lightly flour my surface here. Work it all around. And I'm gonna unhook this bowl from the mixer. Look at how pretty that is. I wish you could smell it. It smells so good like yeast rolls. So I'm just gonna work it out of the mixing bowl. The dough is on the surface now. I'm gonna take a little bit of more all-purpose flour and just lightly sprinkle the top, mostly so my hands don't stick. I'm also gonna take my rings off real quick. And all I'm gonna do now, put a little more flour on my hands and I'm just gonna pull the dough around and form it into a ball. It's gonna be a little bit sticky, but it's okay. You can just put a little more flour onto your hands or onto the surface, whatever you need. And my goal here is just to shape it into a ball. A little more flour. Still a little bit sticky in the back here. Looks really good. That looks like a nice ball of dough. And I'm going to oil the bowl this was in and then we're gonna put it back in and let it rise for an hour. So I'll be right back. All right, this is ready to go in the bowl. I wanted to show you guys quickly how you go about um, putting the oil in the bowl just to make, and all the oil is for is to make sure it does not stick. So we're just gonna use maybe about a tablespoon or so of, again, extra virgin olive oil. And I'm just gonna take my paper towel, I've just got a simple paper towel, and I'm rubbing the oil all around the bowl. Again, you don't want it to stick. So we're gonna put the bowl right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. I'm gonna use, I've got my handy bench scraper here, because you can see it's sticking it a little bit. Again, we're in Houston, so, and it's rainy today, so it's a little bit moist in the air, so it makes it stick a little bit more. 
not a problem though. It won't change the out outcome of the, the focaccia. And I was gonna say to you guys, we're just showing you how to make a very basic rosemary focaccia today. Sometimes you can cut, chop up the fresh rosemary and put it inside while you're mixing. You could also do garlic. You could even roast some garlic. That, how good would that be to roast off some garlic? Uh, chop it up and put it in there as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this with a tea towel and I'm gonna put it in a warm place and let it rise for about an hour. And we'll see you guys in a little while. The really fun part when you have nails like mine is trying to get the dough out of there. So I'm gonna go off and wash really well. We'll be back with you guys in about an hour. So those nails cost a lot of dough. <laughs> it did cost a lot of dough, especially today. What a mess. We are back and the dough has risen. It's beautiful. I'll give you just a little cl close up of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flour this work surface again. Lightly flour it, not too heavy, but enough to where it won't stick. So we're just gonna get, take this out of this bowl, transfer it to this floured work surface. Oh, that's so pretty. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on the top of the dough. I'm also gonna put a little bit, I've got a rolling pin here and I'm gonna put a little bit on my rolling pin. And what I wanna do is just kind of roll this out. You can do it into a round uh, shape or a rectangular shape, it doesn't matter. We're gonna let it sit for a little while. We're gonna roll it out till it's about half inch to three quarters of an inch or an inch, you know. It's not rocket science, let's just keep it easy. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this away. I'm gonna keep my flour here just in case I need it. I have a cooking sheet here already prepared with, a, with parchment on it. So my goal is to take the dough to, and transfer it from the flour work surface onto the parchment lined cookie sheet. I'm going to flour again. If you, have one, if you don't have one of these, you need to get one. I'll put a link in the description below. Pull this over here so you guys can see it a little bit better. Can transfer that on there. Pull it back out. Look how pretty that is. Okay, we're just gonna set this over aside. For about another 20 minutes, I'm gonna cover it with a towel and just put it back in that warm place that I had it and let it sit for about 20 minutes and we will be right back with you. I wanna take a minute to show you guys how to chop the rosemary, how to remove it from the stem and give it a good chop. If you don't have fresh rosemary, it is not a problem. Just use dried rosemary. If you use dried, you're gonna use only about two teaspoons because it's much more intense flavor. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rosemary stem and we're just gonna peel away. Look how that just peels right off. And I know sometimes kind of like cilantro, rosemary might be a love-hate thing. So if you don't wanna use rosemary, you could use parsley, you could use thyme. You could use cilantro if you want to make it in a, you know, in the more Mexican style. But all we're going to do now is I've got a great Kamikoto knife here that make, Michael got from his daughter for his birthday last year. I'll put a link in the description below. But all you're going to do is just take these and finally chop it because we want to disperse it on top of the focaccia when it comes out of the oven or when it goes into the oven. We have the rosemary chopped. We're going to discard the two stems. And when it comes, it gets ready to go in the oven, we're just gonna put this on top, get a sprinkle of olive oil, and we'll be good to go. Okay, guys, look at this. Here's the unveiling. Look at how, oh my gosh. Look how big that is. Oh my gosh, that's that is beautiful. That is amazing. Look at all the bubbles in There's there. There's so many oh. bubbles in there. Oh. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers to go ahead and take this and just poke deep, dense, all the way to the baking sheet, as far down as you can. So basically like this. And you wanna make sure it's dented everywhere. That's what makes it focaccia. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Then each one of these little holes will have olive oil in it and it'll have salt. Rosemary. Rosemary. The next step is going to be take your good extra virgin olive oil. We're just gonna Drizzle it over the top, just a little over the top. Don't be skimpy, make it good. Because this is part of the taste. Part of the taste and good olive oil, as you guys know, is really good. 
All right, so then we're gonna go in with some chopped rosemary that I chopped earlier. You can do the full stems. And again, if you're using dried rosemary, not a problem. Whatever you have in your house, you just make it yours. But I will say the fresh rosemary makes a difference. So. All right, next we're gonna use some of that flaky sea salt just to give it some great flavor on top. Just kind of sprinkle it from way up above so it gets every bit of the bread. All right, that looks good to me. We're gonna go into our preheated oven. It's preheated at 400 degrees. We're gonna place this right in here and it's gonna cook for about 20 minutes. Okay, so everything's been cooked. We're gonna take the focaccia out of the oven. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, look at that. Mm. This is out of the oven and it is beautiful. Look at this beautiful This is gorgeous. Focaccia. It's hot. I wish you could- It's crunchy, oh my gosh. I wish you guys could smell this. The yes, rosemary it's is amazing. just off the charts. I'm gonna cut it kind of in the middle here mm -hmm. so we can get a bite out of the inside. All right. All right. Cut off a little piece. Yeah. Uh, this you are you are going to make this if you well now that you know how easy it is you're going to mm -hmm. make this all the time. There you go. Tink. Hmm. Here we go. Taste test. <laughs> Tell me about it. Salty, mm -hmm. chewy, the rosemary. yeasty, just so good. The rosemary is the best, salt everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, crunchiness. Look at that. Mm -hmm. mm. Just wait until you try this. You were gonna wait make it all the time. Wait till you try this, this is amazing. Mm. I don't even have words for this, it's a listen to you. <laughs> mm. And that flaky sea salt on top, the, the best touch, yes, do that. This will be great with anything Italian, mm -hmm. pasta, everything. Butter, mm. <laughs> just butter, yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate you coming to our kitchen and just mm -hmm. hanging out with us and, and watching this food. You guys are gonna love this focaccia bread. Make it, I guarantee you will love it. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Mm. If you have not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. We would love to have you become part of our YouTube family. And if you liked this video today, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you know mm -hmm. every time we come up with a new video. Mm -hmm. We thank you for being with us. We just are glad you were in there. We had you in our home and we were just so happy to show you how to do this. Absolutely. We hope everybody's okay. You guys stay safe. We love you all and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Hello, friends. No. I'll be there for you. And I'll find the right note. <laughs> what is the best thing we could make right now at this cold time of year? A nice, warm, a nice, warm loaf of bread. Rosemary focaccia. No. Rosemary focaccia. Garlic. Garlic rosemary focaccia. It's going to be, it's <laughs> Hey, Sadie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she likes it too. She likes it too. Yeah, and you will extreme. You will very. Yeah, let's go.